This is the new Audi R8 GT Spider. It is the most expensive road car Audi has ever made, so I better be careful not to crash it. Okay, we're on the Stow circuit at Silverstone. That's why I'm having to wear this helmet, health and safety reasons. But if you can ignore the fact that I look like a bit of a numpty for the moment, so I need to explain what's different about this car. Well, the first thing is that it costs from 158,000 pounds, which is 41 grand more than the normal R8 V10 Spider. And for that, you get some lowered suspension. It's not magnetic ride like on the normal V10. You also get some carbon ceramic brakes. Another difference is that they've tweaked the engine management system so that the 5.2 litre engine now produces 560 horsepower, which is about 35 horsepower more than the normal car. The big difference is though, the fact that Audi has taken out 85 kilograms of weight. So the question is, how the heck have they managed to do that? Well, there's lots of carbon fiber used throughout the car. For instance, the front splitter, it's carbon fiber. The rear split up, that's carbon fibre too. We've got a thinner bonnet and inside we've got some thinner carpets. But the biggest weight saving are these seats here. They save 35 kilograms. Now you're probably wondering what that performance upgrade and the lighter weight do to the car's performance figures. Well, 0-62 is now down to 3.8 seconds, down from 4.1 seconds, and top speed is up to 197 miles an hour, which is about three miles an hour faster than the normal R8 V10 Spider. And do you know what? I can't tell that difference at all from where I'm sitting. It handles really well, it's predictable, the steering's sharp, makes a great noise, but then so does the normal car. There's no difference really. Really though, my biggest problem with the R8 GT Spider is that it makes no sense as a lightweight special, as at 1640 kilograms, it's still 15 kilograms heavier than the normal R8 V10 Coupe. Ultimately, it's not a track car, it's a marketing exercise. Now you probably think I've been a little bit negative about this car, and don't get me wrong, I do think it is a truly great thing, but that's because it's an Audi R8, it's just that it's the least relevant of all the Audi R8s. But seeing as only 40 odd have come into this country and Audi has pretty much sold them all anyway, probably doesn't give a toss what I think.